Today I'm going to be trying on two shades from the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation line. I'm going to be trying on 355 Coconut on the right side of my face and 360 Mocha on the left side to make a better conclusive decision on which one is my shade. Let's get into it. What's up beauties? Welcome to my channel Just Add Melanin. My name is Merv. If this is your first time to my brand new channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. So without further ado, let's get these bad boys on. Alright guys, so I've already started with a washed and moisturized face. I just have um, my eyebrows done and some mascara and some white um, eyeliner in my waterline. But other than that, this is my bare face, for better or worse. And we're going to start off with shade 355. And I'm just going to pour a little. I'm gonna do about maybe one and a half layers on each side of my face. So I want a medium to full coverage. Not too full, but not too light either. So I'm gonna start off with about this much, just for the right side of my face. I'm dampening my Sephora Beauty Blender brush with MAC Mineralized Charge Water. Let's see how this goes. Alright guys, so I just looked at the bottle and I think I misspoke earlier when I said that this was 355. This is actually 360. I'm so glad I caught that. Um, and now it's upside down. But yeah, that was 360. So the right side of my face is 360. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I'm looking like Too Faced right now. Here is the line. But yes, so that is 360. Um, how do we feel about it? I don't know. To be honest with you, I thought I thought this was 355 because it's like my exact skin color. I thought, but you know, lighting be messing with you, so I don't know. I'm not sure, but this is 360. cute face what's that face he, he he has like a messed up half of his face so his face be like <laughs> people with big lips should not do that please erase that from your memory so now next side is gonna be 355 so we're gonna put 355 on this side Too much, too much. Alright guys, so 355 is now on. What do you think? Hmm. I can see the difference in the mirror over here. 
360 is definitely um, drying down darker on me. I just put 355 on so I'm not, I can't make an assessment off of how it's drying down in this instant just yet, but we will see. But this is 360, 355, I've said that a million times now, stop saying it. I just wanted to actually know, wrong. I have the corresponding powders also. So this side was 360, so 360, 355. I'm going to set both sides um, so you guys can see how they work together. I was almost gonna forget that. Bad, bad, bad try on lady. <laughs> okay, so this is 360. And we're going to put that on the 360 side. I don't like to put on a lot, a lot of um, like setting powder. I feel like it might sometimes it takes away from like the skin finish of the foundation, depending on the powder that you're using. So I just put like just enough to kind of like set everything in. So like I dab it in there once with like a flat top brush like this. This one is BH Cosmetics. It just says one, two, three on it. I'm not sure if that means anything but um just using this brush it's pretty dense and pretty good for this for like packing product on so this is 360 set mm -mm. and where's the other brush oh no it's right in my lap <laughs> and for the 355 this is the color it looks pretty Oh my god, it looks so light. Jeez Louisa. Putting it down here. I haven't quite figured out my lighting situation yet, guys. Sorry, but I'm gonna put it down here so you get a little more color. This is the most color that it's coming up on it on camera, but sheesh, that looks free and light. Okay. I'm just using my Real Techniques powder brush now for this side. just a dusting because this thing looks crazy like I'm trying to be something I'm not there all right guys so now everything is set um, and these are the two colors what are we what are we thinking um, I don't know for the powder I'm definitely feeling the 360 more that has a lot of more that has a lot more I think you can, you can pick up on the color from this position <laughs> because I'm a weirdo. So, you know, you see a lot more chocolate in this one than you do this one. Look at that. Like, come on. So, yeah, guys, what are we thinking? I'm definitely feeling my 360 side right now more, but I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Let me know if you've picked up the powders along with the um, foundations. The Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, 360 feels really good. Uh, I'm not sure about the 355. But for the foundation, for both of them, I actually filmed this video twice before. Both times they went really badly. The lighting situation wasn't working. My camera stopped recording even though I talked through it like an idiot the entire time. It stopped recording because of storage issues. Just, you know beginner beginner problems so I'm really sorry that I took a couple of days to get this up for you guys but um, hopefully this will be the final attempt. Oh, my point in telling you guys that I filmed this video you know prior to today was because I got a chance to wear both of the foundations um, all day for the past two days and they felt really good. I was outside in the hot ass weather. It was like 98 degrees all week uh, this week here and I wore them out, ran errands and all of that and I had a really nice finish by the end of the day. I wasn't completely matte but I had a nice skin 
I wouldn't even say dewy finish because it, dewy to me kind of means like you look a little glisteny. This was more like a nice skin finish, like a nice healthy sheen it leaves you with by the end of the day. So I was really happy with how they held up. I should mention that I used this the past two days and today in conjunction with um, Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. Um, Good Lord, I really need to figure out my life. But this is the um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. I just have it in the um, trial size here and I dab that into my skin as a primer before applying this and they work pretty well together. Um, so yeah. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I just threw on some lipstick, some eyeshadow and contoured a little bit. I'm going out to the future concert with Tory Lanez and Young Thugs, so I'm super, super excited. Did I say Young Thugs? <laughs> yeah, the Young Thugs are gonna be there, so that's what I'm gonna go see. Those darn kids. No, Young Thug, Future, and Tory Lanez. So I'm super excited about that. That's why I thought I could get a little more exaggerated than I usually am. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was my first try on, super nerve wracking, much harder than I thought, but I had a blast making it for you guys. Uh, I'm sure there will be many more to come. And I really appreciate you guys for taking the time out to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out my next video. And leave your comments down below on what you thought about the shades and if you've picked one up for yourself, if you have the loose fit powder and um, what the wear is like on that because today was my first day wearing that. I don't know like what to expect, if I'm gonna be looking crazy ashy in a couple of hours or what let me know down below. I'd really appreciate it and I'd love to hear from you. Until my next one, bye. Hey YouTube, thanks so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Merv and today I will be swatching slash well, I guess not reviewing, but just swatching the new extended Maybelline Fit Me foundation line.